Right, I thought I'd attempt making my first ever uh, video. Um, I've been watching Roy's on YouTube, if you're interested in watching any of his. Uh, very informative. If you search for Sailing with Roy Sheriff, uh, you'll find them. Right, how I got started, I saw a boat for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, like the look of it. <clears throat> Went down and met Malcolm. Uh, he'd built it himself, uh, Lysander 19. Um, and he'd been selling it round Anglesey for, for years. Uh, brought it back to the sailing club and he'd bought another boat so he decided to sell it. Anyway, I had a little look around it, uh, absolutely loved it. And then after having a meeting with Roy <coughs> and Mike down at the sailing club about being a member, I decided to buy it. Um, the boat needed very little doing so it was in great shape. Um, the only thing I did was put some new Perspex windows in and then within about a month uh, it was out on the out on the water. I uh, went for my first sail with um, with Malcolm. <clears throat> he showed me uh, a few things I needed to know and then after that I was pretty much by myself. Um, had a brilliant six months out on the water, loved every minute of it. Made a few mistakes uh, as you do. Um, <clears throat> but I'm still here. Um, I went out, uh, walked out to the boat at low tide one day to do a little bit of work on it, a little play around. Started to rain, went inside, made myself a cup of tea <clears throat> and then didn't really keep an eye on the tide coming back in. And then when I went out and had a little look, uh, the tide was coming in rather fast. And although I've been told not to, um, I decided to walk back towards the cottage as the tide was coming in. <clears throat> it got stuck up to my waist in mud. Honestly thought I was going to die. Um, obviously I never, still here. But uh, listen to the advice that people give you. Because uh, the same things happen to other people. Um, I then one evening went out for... A sail in the evening after being told it's not a good idea um, took a big torch with me ended up um, having a bit of a problem with the engine and not being able to get back onto the mooring so I had to throw the anchor down at West Kirby um, <clears throat> came back up in my little dinghy uh, with the outboard on uh, fighting the tide took us pretty much about an hour and a half to get back up to the sailing club and then I think it was about half one in the morning we got back then realised they hadn't taken the um, the rudder off the boat so the next day when I went down to pick the boat up from West Kirby um, the rudder was missing it had floated away <coughs> I went down to the towards West Kirby to see if I could find it and luckily it had been given in to somebody at the sailing club so I was able to pick it back up and uh, everything was okay in the end. Uh, I had a great six months uh, out on the water. I, Apart from being out uh, on West Kirby Boating Lake when I was eight years old, uh, I've had no experience of sailing at all so <clears throat> for the first probably three months i was pretty much just going out uh, with my motor um it's great finding something that i could do with me teenage lads because uh, when they get to that sort of age they're not very interested in a lot of things so uh, they used to come out with me all the time uh, i was out pretty much the saturday and sundays for most of the season as long as the weather wasn't too bad um absolutely love clear water and i would i've always said that i'd like a bigger boat something a bit more roomy inside with having the two lads um i'd have gladly kept all the clear water but i did say that if something else came up at the club then i'd consider it and then um probably as you know a boat owned by uh, dave Bedell lewis dpl for short the wild magic uh, was out on its moorings and another boat broke free of its moorings and uh, collided with it. Um, the insurance company said that the uh, it wasn't viable to have it repaired. So I was able to pick the boat up off them. Um, done most of the work myself with help from other people at the club and uh, good advice as well. 
it's very handy very handy having uh, Roy as my uh, next door neighbour in the boatyard uh, he's always uh, been a great help and full of good advice uh, lots of things to get involved with in the club as well um, Tuesdays they have a work party in the, on a Tuesday morning uh, doing odd jobs around the club Wednesday evening the bar's open uh, usually meet up and have a chat uh, game of snooker sometimes Sundays the uh, the bar's open in the daytime um, no nicer place than sitting and having a pint than on the uh, the grass outside the club on a nice warm sunny day um, yeah enjoy um, I certainly have and uh, looking forward to getting back out there and uh, we'll see you out there hopefully soon Bye-bye.